hi guys so oops hi guys so today i'm going or not today but i guess um i'm back home now and like rue's just on their table right here but i'm going to be talking about my experience with um having her at my apartment and then i'm just gonna be showing some clips too and there's my brother i'm bringing my hamster to my apartment and i don't know it's not technically allowed but and she's being really loud but hopefully it'll be cool this is this is her i'll make a vlog out of it bringing my hamster to school day her name is rue by the way also because she stands like a kangaroo a lot and she is a siberian hamster i mean wait is it Siberian or Syrian? I think it's a Syrian hamster. And then like si Siberian is like a Siberian husky. She's a Syrian hamster, also known as a teddy bear hamster. She was there for like almost two weeks in her actual cage. She has this little flying saucer that she can like run in place in her cage for when she's like active, which is like at midnight, midnight but at my apartment, I didn't have that. So I feel like she gained a lot of weight. And I feel like if you really like kind of look at it, you can kind of see it throughout the videos that I show that she's kind of gotten like chubbier, but that's okay. She got lost. Like she was able to get out like three times. Hello everyone. I don't even know what day it is, but it's probably just day three of Rue being at my apartment and she got out last night apparently or maybe this morning but my roommate said that she heard rustling near a bag and she was just there but right now she's like eating in her sleep and also she's poked a bunch of holes in my towel that i have over her thing so that she keeps warm but yeah um she's eating in her sleep right now so i'm gonna show that Hello guys, it's currently 11.30 p.m. and I wanted to check on my hamster because because I wanted to check on her, but um, as you can see, it's empty. So I've been looking around and she's not under any of this stuff, but I found her. She's in our roommate's bathroom. She's right here. Ma'am. The first two times, like, we kind of caught it, but, like, the third time, she was out for, like, God knows how long, but I was out of the apartment entirely. Hello, everyone. I just came back from a meeting, and it's currently 1 a.m., and as I was coming back from my meeting, my roommate texted me, and she was like, um, Lucia, and I already knew that this girl got out. So I came back really quick and we've been looking for her and like, I found her just on my roommate's backpack. Like she was just sitting in her, our, her backpack, like sitting on her backpack, just chilling. She was like frozen, like she didn't, she wasn't like in the midst of moving when I saw her. And then I picked her up and then she hasn't moved from my hand like since. She usually kind of like walks around or like wants to continue to walk around, but She's literally just here. I think it's because she knows that she's in trouble, but it's okay, she's here, I guess, but she's an imbecile. She's going home soon. She's going back to my house soon because it is too hard to handle this weird looking dog. Good luck, Charlie. But she was like really fun, even though she's like honestly a big distraction for me because I have to like let her out at some point so that she can run around a lot. And then I also have to like stay up sometimes to like let her run around a lot. And like it would kind of get in the way of my study. So like I just figured that it's probably best if I just leave her here. I should be studying for like a microphone yeah um a lot of the times you can see clips of like her jumping at the beginning of the time that i was um that i had her she 
was in a cage that didn't have like a grid lid. It just had a towel. And that was um, the reason why she was able to get out so often. After I had the grid, she didn't get out because like the grid. But um, she was able to get out by like climbing onto the towel or onto the um, water bottle and then onto the towel. So like, so I recorded a bunch of clips of her like being able to actually like climb in her little hand. Um, of her like climbing out onto the towel and stuff so I can see for myself how she gets out. Um, so then I had to like kind of keep the towel taut and like wrap it under the tub almost so that she can't like reach it anymore, which is sad. I feel really bad, but like, she's just a crackhead, honestly. Like she just wants to go everywhere. Like it's not like, I mean, it might be that she just doesn't want to be in there, but like she wants to be everywhere is what I'm trying to say. And I gave her like spots to sleep in, like I gave her a little tube, but she would sleep on like the mounds of bedding. She's so funny. And like, I would catch her like sleep eating a lot and stuff. And she's just really funny. Hey guys. <clears throat> well, that was the first time I like spoke this morning. It's Monday. So now it's been like a week of me having my hamster here. And she's in her little new tub because um, she keeps getting out. So we put like um, grids over it so that she can't get out. And we put a little tube there for her so that she can sleep in there, but she's sleeping in the bedding <laughs> because she's just used to it. So like this is her little tub now. I still keep the blanket on so that she can keep warm. She has a tube right there for her to sleep in. And she just moved all her stuff up there. Okay, I have class in like five minutes. She don't want my hand and she's been biting it. I'm going to give Rue a raspberry. Yeah, she want it so bad. I'm gonna let go. You don't like it? Overall, that's how it went. I'm probably not gonna bring her back anymore because for one, it was like a nuisance to kind of bring everything in and out. And also she's like, I'm not allowed. But when she heard that, she was like, what? This whole time I wasn't allowed? Anyways probably best i don't bring her back and like oh my gosh i didn't have any footage of it but at one point when we had her the fire alarm went off so i had to like bring her in a little box and i was just like holding her outside hello okay anyways she's just standing there but at some point when she was staying here the fire alarm went off and she was oh my god why is everyone At some point, there was, the fire alarm went off and I had to bring her outside in a box and just kind of like chill with her and she kept trying to get out so she was making a lot of noise and like if anyone taller than me, I'm a small girl, I'm five feet if anyone just like looked down into my box, they'd see a whole hamster in there I'm sure like no one cares really, but some people be snitches, you know? and like they could tell on me and then what? That's why also I'm not even sure if I should even post this video. But anyways, like all my roommates had a fun time like looking at her and hanging out with her. She is a crackhead. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. No, your cheeks are full, man. You can't. Oh.
she looks like a little lion or something. Or those like guppies with like extremely big eyes on the side, except like her cheeks are her eyes. Oh my god, it's just a recording of my face. She prays before she eats. Just kidding. She don't know what religion is. She's huge. Jeez. Oh no! <laughs> Say goodbye, kings and queens. She's not supposed to be up right now, to be honest. It's currently 2.30. And she gets up at around 9 to 10 p.m. So I'm gonna let her go back to sleep. Ah! Oh god, oh god! Okay, let's go to sleep so I can dry.